How's it going, bros? My name is Dark Slayer Gaming, and welcome Friday Sweet Dark Slayer Gaming episode 45. For today's episode, we're gonna talk about Facebook and the other social media platforms shut down, and I'm going to share with you my opinion to this kind of issue, and we all know we are affected by this shutdown. Social media between Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, Meta, and many many more except Twitter, Discord, Twitch, and TikTok. These other four social medias are not affected and we all knew that Elon Musk is responsible for shutting down Facebook and the other social media platforms. For me bros, I thought that I was hacked because I shouldn't upload my video gaming content on Facebook page. I'm going but suddenly login error or session expired if you know what I mean and bros I'm going to share and read this context on Unilad from Facebook the one that I found with so don't forget to leave a like uh, video if you finish my episode comment your thoughts and opinions subscribe for more updates and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so don't miss out bros I have Facebook page with me so don't forget to like and or follow after this episode before we continue reading this context the one that i found on Unila, unilad don't make spam or don't spam my video likes on youtube okay don't say i didn't warn you so let's read now bros here we go Elon Musk trolls Facebook and Instagram after they go down for everyone worldwide. Elon Musk he had something to say after people worldwide faced issued with Meta. Kung makikita niya sa pop-up screen ng video or not, let me know. Facebook and Instagram is down across the world so Elon Musk is of course poking fun. Today, internet users were surprised to see their Facebook and Instagram suddenly cease to work. Tons of people reported that they had suddenly been logged out of Facebook and Messenger app. While Instagram users trying to log into their accounts were also being shown an error message which reads, There was a problem logging you in. Please try again soon. Yung 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 dito. Many users were left puzzled after finding out that they had been blocked out on of their Facebook and Instagram accounts and were unable to log back in. Kaya ayun, ganun din ako. Akala ko hindi na hack ako dito dito eh. Some also reported that they are being told that their password is incorrect when trying to log back in. In fact, Many were left wondering on Tuesday, March 5, that's few days ago bros, if they'd been hacked, but that was certainly not the case. Down detector shown that there were more than 239,000 reports for Facebook, while Instagram has ov over 37,000 reports in the same time frame. Meta has seen issued a response addressing the problems with the company's communications lead. Andy Stone penning in a tweet, we are, we are aware people are having trouble accessing our services. We are working on this now. But this sudden shutdown was too much of a good opportunity for Elon to not to take a quick jab. So, ayun bros. The ex, formerly known as Twitter, owner pen on his social media app if you're reading this post it's because our servers are working the official x account also tweeted if wrote we know why you're all here right now and with mass x being one of the few social media apps working many flock to their to the site for any updates so yun bros kung makikita yung screenshot sa uh, sinasabi ko na ngayon inaulit ko lang to Many posted amusing jeeps and images of enormous crowds or baratons as they waited with bated breath for an answer. One person tweeted, When you realize both Facebook and Instagram are down and everybody rushing towards X, 
another route not me changing my passwords on FB3 times in 5 minutes thinking I got hacked only to find out that Facebook slash IG are down for everyone a third route I thought somebody hacked my Facebook and another posted so like everyone's in X to verify if they the only one who got locked out in Facebook Messenger and Insta same so ayun kung makikita yun sa pop-up yun na yung sabi sa Facebook outages reported in the last 24 hours kung makikita yung screenshot sa pop-up screen or not those messaging service WhatsApp also owned by Meta has experienced problems on Tuesday though it does not appear to be experiencing disruption to its services however according to Down Detector there was a small spike of 600 reports for the social media platform. The cause of the outage is not currently known and Meta has yet to post an official update to any of its own channels or Twitter. Unilever has contacted, contacted Meta for comment. So yun na yun. Next naman tayo Netflix. People thought Netflix leave the world behind was becoming reality after massive Facebook and Instagram outage. People have been comparing Facebook and Instagram going down to Netflix leave the world behind. So, yan na yun. Yan na, yan na pa yung bros. Kung makikita nyo o hindi. So, let me know lang. After Facebook and Instagram went down, yun. So, for March 5, that's few days ago. Just like I said, that again bros. People were left feeling like Netflix leave the world behind was becoming a reality. Many users were puzzled after finding out they had been locked out of their Facebook and Instagram accounts and were unable to log back in. In fact, many began to worry that they'd been hacked, but that was certainly not the case. So, you know, you said, so I'm going to go back to this. Social media users subsequently took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to see if fellow users experience the same problems. Many posted amusing jeeps and images of enormous crowds or marathons as people swarm the platform for updates. One person tweeted, when you realize both Facebook and Instagram are down and everybody rushing towards X, another wrote, not, not me changing my password on Facebook or FP3 times in 5 minutes thinking I got hacked only to find out that Facebook slash IG are down for everyone. A third person, I thought somebody hacked my Facebook. Just like I said earlier bro, so binabasa ko lang to ulit. Kaya nagscroll na lang ako nito dito sa websites, websites nito dito sa context na ito. Share ko lang. And another post says, so like everyone's in X to verify if they the only one who got logged out in Facebook Messenger and Insta same. Messaging services I service WhatsApp also owned by Meta experienced problems on Tuesday though it did not suffer the same disruption to its services. Meta issued a statement addressing the problems with the company's communication lead pen in a tweet. We are aware people are having trouble accessing our services. We are working on, on this now. And of course Elon Musk poked fun at the outages penning on X. If you are reading this, <laughs> it's because our servers are working. The official X account also tweeted, We know why you are all here right now. But now, that Facebook and Instagram is back up and running. Many have compared the outage to leave the world behind. The 2023 Netflix movie featuring Julia Roberts. Ayun pala yun. Advanced na to, parang prediction lang to eh na kinabukasan lang this year nangyari yung abad sa Facebook and Instagram shutting down eh. Hashtag Facebook down and hashtag Instagram down. Leave the world behind starts now. One person wrote on X. A leave the world behind scene is happening right now. Tell me I'm lying. A second added. However, an impressed social media user wrote, I'm getting sick of people mentioning leave the world behind whenever something happens. Leave the World Behind is based on Ruban Alam's 2010 novel of the same name and the play is written, produced, and directed by Sam Esmail. Sorry for the pronunciation Rosa, correct me if I'm wrong na lang. The film is set during a family vacation on Long Island after it is 
interrupted by the two strangers bearing news of a mysterious blackout. As the, as the threat grows more imminent, both families must decide how best to survive the potential crisis, all while grappling with their own place in this collapsing world. The hypnosis continues. Spooky. Next naman tayo na ito dito. Facebook outage has everyone saying the same thing after they're asking for their password to log in again. Many Facebook users across the globe were logged out of their accounts earlier today. So yun, kung makikita nyo sa picture. Many Facebook users across the world were logged out of their profiles earlier today and many are all saying the same thing. Facebook and Instagram users scurried online just hours ago reporting both of their apps no longer working properly instagram users couldn't load their feeds and facebook users were kicked out from their accounts and told to log in again so much so that the incident so many facebook users flocked to other social media platforms making the same joke yung Ayan, nagagalit na lang ng mga ibang tao all around the world, bro, sinasabi ko sa'yo. Reports sa down detector started flooding in about Facebook and Instagram being down at around 3 o'clock p.m. earlier today on March 5. Just like I said, past few days na ito nangyari, kaya totoo nyo may content to sa per episodes. It didn't take a long for people to run to X to question if they were the only ones experiencing issues and why the meta platforms had gone down. A user said, when you realize both Facebook and Instagram are down and everybody, everybody rushing towards X, however others are all, however others also run to alternate social media site Reddit, with many admitting to doing exactly the same thing when they first realized they were locked out of Facebook in particular. For me bros, I'm not sure dito din sa Reddit, Reddit app and Reddit account na ito kung mahahak ba sila o hindi. So, by the way, yan ay yung Facebook outages reported in the last pa doon for hours. Kung pa ulit ulit to, um, yun. User 305FUN2 took the Reddit to share an article about the outage and thousands of Facebook users rapidly replied. U slash star glitter was the first to set up the joke, writing hundreds of thousands. Fuck what what fuck what was my password? <laughs> the comment has received upwards of 2,000 likes and many users have flocked to it in agreement. While well, another commented commented, literally my house is wa awash with what's my password? I don't think I've actually logged out with my password for at least for at least five years. Someone else added the one person said. That was definitely me. Kung makikita niyo yung picture ni Andy Stone, yan yung sinabi, We're aware people are having trouble accessing our services. We are working on this now. So yun na yun. Kung makikita niyo or not. The conversation even spilled onto X21 user noting, not me changing my password on pay FB three times in five minutes, thinking I got hacked only to find out that Facebook slash IG are down for everyone. So, binasa ko na to, kaya paulit-ulit na lang to dyan si Unilad. So, next naman tayo dyan. Elon Musk tells company who had stopped advertising on X to go fuck yourself. The tech billionaire did not mince his words. So, sorry for that word off, kasi nabasa ko lang to eh. Elon Musk has not means his words when he was asked about the companies who have stopped advertising on X Twitter. Some of the biggest brands in the world have reportedly ended their spending on the social media app over the last few weeks and months. A report from Media Matters for America highlighted how Channel, CNN, Dell, Diara, Jail, Hewlett, Packard, Kellogg Company, LinkedIn Com Corporation, Mars Incorporated, Nestle, the Coca-Cola Company, and, load, and loads of other big name corporation have quietly dropped out. 50 of the top 100 ad advertisers or adver advertisers, whatever I'm gonna pronounce, sorry, on X Twitter have apparently fled 
which have accounted for nearly 2 billion in spending on their platform since 2020, 2020, no pandemic era pa yun boss or COVID. Musk was asked about this desertion during a chat at the 2023 deal book summit in New York. So, yun na yun, boss. If, some, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself, he said. Don't advertise. That is one pe that, that is one hell of a statement. Interviewer Andrew Rose. Sorkin was clearly taken aback from the comments as it took him a uh, few seconds to work out his question. But Mas had one more ammunition in his arsenal. The whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company and we will document it, document it in great detail. Mas said in a threat to those companies who have left and those who, go, those who are considering leaving. Mas has been accused of posting and sharing tweets on the social media platform that have been regarded as anti-Semitic. Correct me if I'm wrong now, dito sa pronunciation ko na nababasa. He's addressed that criticism where he said they were one of the most Polish, if not the most Polish thing I've never, I've ever done on the platform. So, yun na yung sanabi dyan sa interview nito dito for the past few years, months, or whatever. But the tech billionaire insisted he isn't against Jewish people. I'm sorry for that tweet or post, he said. I tried my best to clarify six ways to someday, but you know at least I think over time it will be obvious that in fact, far from being anti-Semitic, I am, I am in fact, philo-Semitic. Media Matters for America said, anti-Semitic isn't the only issue that has plagued ex twitter in the past year. Elon Musk has continued his rush of brand and safe actions including amplifying conspiracy theories, uh, uni uh, uni uh, unilaterally in stating brand accounts such as that former President Donald Trump, courting and engaging with far-right accounts and instituting a haphazard verification scheme that allowed exter extremists and scammers to purchase a blue check that la this last move in particular opened the platform up to var variety of fraud and brand invitations it said it said in a statement so you know yun malapit na tayo boss Jack Black calls out Elon Musk and lays down the gauntlet Jack Black is calling Elon Musk bluff bluff bros you heard me Jack Black has called out Elon Musk for making all Twitter users pay a monthly free fee to keep their blue check mark, including celebrity A-lister. The school of rock star think that think what the Twitter boss is doing is definitely not cool, and is going to call his bluff to see if he will really wipe out the blue ticks for those who aren't willing to pay. Twitter users, Twitter users. Sorry, Twitter users who want to remain verified will need to cough up $11 a month as part of mass shakeup of the only social media that matters. So, yun. He also promised to scrap certain features for those who do not pay. From 15th of April, only verified accounts will be able to use the For You page, which Shows users recommended tweets outside their follows list, Musk, says, Musk said. Voting in polls will also require verification. This is the only realistic way to address advanced AI bot swarms taking over. It is otherwise a hopeless losing battle, he tweeted last month. So, yun. Petra yung, wala mo yung tinaposyon ni Elon Musk, hilarious. And now Black has said that he isn't happy with the idea of removing verification ticks. You may blue check mark if you know what I mean. I don't I don't know if I'm going to pay for it, he told Var Variety. I'm a little embarrassed by the blue check 
to be honest with you. Maybe it's cooler not to have checks. It's definitely not cool to pay for it. I'm I'm gonna see what's gonna what happens if I don't pay for it. I'm gonna call his bluff. See if he really takes my check away. Black joke. Then I'm going to hold a big press conference to bring attention to this weird injustice. The Super Mario Bros. movie co-star Chris Pratt said, I don't know, I care deeply about all of my followers. I'll do whatever I have to do, stay a part of their lives because I respect their attention and I love to use it as an opportunity to talk to them when I'm do doing movies and stuff. Mas has defended his decision and said that the new rules are more about treating, treating everyone equally as there shouldn't be a different standards for celebrities. However, other personalities such as American activist Monica Lewinsky, Lewinsky criticized the move and tweeted, in, in what universe is it fair to people who can suffer? consequences for being impersonated. A lie travels half a way around the world before truth even gets out of the door. Uh, gets out the door pala. So, I think that's it bro. So, yun yung context dun sa yun nila. I hopefully you will like it or not lang bros neto dito. So, let me know down in the comments of this Fridays with Dark Slayer gaming episode. So, yun yun lang talaga yung masasabi ko neto dito. So, that's it bros, I hope you enjoy reading this context about Facebook down and all other social medias. You will find it in the first and or second description box below or if you want to see Mark Zuckerberg's responsive tweets, also known as Savage Responsive Tweets against Elon Musk. Um, you will find that because I followed Mark Zuckerberg on Twitter in just 2 or 3 days ago. You will find it on Twitter to this savage response to Elon Musk. You will see bros. And plus after I followed Mark, Mark, I don't have any budget or PayPal to earn a dollar online because Mark needs a one dollar to subscribe his Twitter page. So maybe I'll earn dollar for PayPal so if I can use that app bros so that I could subscribe Mark Zuckerberg's Twitter page para the account. I'm not so sure if that's smart or not in my opinion bro so yeah i'm not going to continue about his response to elon so go check go check it out yourself after this episode and if you already saw it then don't check out if you already saw mark savage response to elon's tweet about facebook and facebook shutdown so leave a like video if you enjoy if you finish the whole episode Comment your thoughts and opinion what I read this context at Unilad and don't forget to subscribe for more updates to come. Turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss out my gaming contents episodes, highlight throwback clips, and reaction content too as well. So I'll see you in the next episode for Fridays with Dark Slayer Gaming Bros. Stay awesome!